Time to answer your most pressing questions about the coronavirus. And this morning, with many states partially lifting restrictions, we're talking about how to safely venture out in public. Big question there. This is despite the fact that a recent poll found 67 percent of Americans would be uncomfortable visiting a clothing store and 78 percent say they'd be uncomfortable eating in a restaurant. CBS News senior medical correspondent Dr. Tara Narula joins us now to walk us through some of the guidance, the latest guidance anyhow. So as people go outside, whether they're going to a restaurant or a clothing store or just taking a walk, what precautions should they take to keep themselves safe? Well, Tony, it's true. We're all beginning to emerge from our cocoon, but life as we know it is definitely going to be different. And it's important that we take these precautions really until we have herd immunity or we have a vaccine. Really in trouble. Governor of New York has now mandated all non-essential workers to stay at home. New Yorkers who violate social distancing rules are going to be fined up to 500 bucks. We need more help. These doctors, these nurses, these healthcare workers have been going through hell for weeks. They need to be spelled. They need fresh enforced reinforcements to come in. The number one battle in this country is right here in New York City. A quarter of the cases in the nation. That's the blunt truth. It has been more than 50 days since the last time people have stepped outside, at least most of us. Many sites like Tokyo and Chicago and many other places worldwide were shut down. Others, whether it's doctors, nurses, people that are helping with food banks or working soup kitchens. Um, since being in the house, it's very different. I'm not really used to being in the house all the time. I'm usually outside with my friends, you know, doing other things than being inside the house all the time. I do come inside the house um, often just to play like, video games and stuff. But like most of the time, I do have to practice every day. I miss having practice every day with baseball, like doing all that sports. It's to chill, whether it's to do like my job. I don't really ha I don't have a job anymore. And it's, that's been hard because I have no sorts of income, <clears throat> sort of income. And like, it's just been different. Some things I have been doing is more playing video game, a lot of more playing video games, a lot more. I also connected back to like where I was spiritually, listen to a lot more music. Um, definitely like just been chilling a lot. It's a lot more me time. <clears throat> I've been outside a couple times, a couple times with mask and without a mask. Um, times I've been with mask is I've been like, you know, maybe down a couple of blocks, but like, I haven't been like going outside with no mask down three blocks and be like, okay, I'm good. But the times I have been outside with no mask, um, I definitely was just outside my house, just like standing there or helping my dad or my mom <clears throat> with groceries, excuse me. Um, and yeah, that's... I haven't been outside. I've been outside a lot, but the experiences I have been outside, it's definitely weird to have seeing people like having masks on and doing stuff, like having other things on, like scarves, you know, different things like that. It's definitely weird. It's not normal to me, but since this whole thing has been going on, it's like becoming a norm.